Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. Dear audience, uh, magic is really a problem and most of the people they uh, face uh, spiritual issues, right? Uh, and uh, most of the people they contact us and they ask us, Mr. Gulfam, they ask us that uh, uh, we cannot, uh, you know, recite things, you tell us, you just do it for us, you just do everything for us and we just want to recover. Uh, we just want to come out of our uh, spiritual problem. So, is it possible that a, a person, a spiritual healer, he, you know, uh, performs all the things uh, for the person who is affected by spiritual issue? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mr. Salman, spiritual issues are reality, and uh, a lot of people face them: magic, jinn possession, evil eye, and different other spiritual problems. People face them. But those problems are overestimated, and people alone and think that I cannot, I cannot heal this problem, I cannot treat myself. But this is an easy treatment. This is an easy treatment of all these issues, and issues, and that is uh, the Holy Quran and Sunnah Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You have just to recite. Is it an easy thing? Yes, it is an easy thing for us. For for you know, common Muslim, it's not an easy thing to recite Holy Quran because they overestimate the issue when you overestimate then an easy thing you underestimate it if i tell you if you are affected by evil eye and i tell you that you just recite other muslim you will be recovered you think oh i'm suffering this problem and other muslim will do that thing for me so on one side we overestimate the problem and on treatment side yes. we underestimate the teaching of holy prophet sallam, and the words of the holy quran so this is the problem. So normally people think that recitation of Holy Quran is very complicated to think and it requires many things. We cannot recite Holy Quran and if we commit some mistake, so we will be sinful. Mm -hmm. So that's why people ask us that you just recite all the things, we can do nothing. And some people they say that we can pay as much as you demand, but we cannot recite even a single verse of Holy Quran. Do something for us. Whatever you want to do to heal us, just do, and we are ready to pay your amount. So this is the biggest mistake. Because if you are suffering with a problem, it is you. You have to do something to treat yourself. For example, if you are having a headache, and in, in, instead of you, I take a paradox, I, I take a tablet, pain killer, yes. I take a painkiller. So my painkiller, my taking of painkillers will not heal you. Will you feel relaxed? Will you feel better? No. So if you are hungry, instead of you, I eat something, so your hunger will be gone. No. So your hunger will persist there. So this is the case, if the problem, if the problem of that person is not recovered by that person, other person cannot do something for him. Mm -hmm. So this is the biggest, biggest mistake and people think that it is the responsibility of spiritual healer to recite and to do anything and just recitation is not enough. You have to change your lifestyle, mm -hmm. you have to offer your public to prayers, you have to desist from sins, you have to abstain yourself from sins and disobedience of Allah Almighty and the, and the Holy Prophet you have to do different other supplications, uh, you have to uh, abstain yourself from sinful activities. So this is the thing, you, all activities you have to do in order to heal your problem and in order to heal your uh, magic issues. But all the magic issues, uh, you know, uh, I mean, uh, there are cases uh, with the child, means uh, they are little children, they do not have that, they, they cannot have that, that lifestyle according to the Prophet, uh, peace and blessing your own and they cannot even recite Holy Quran and the supplications we suggest for about the people who, who have serious health issues. I mean, the people who are, you know, weak, the people who cannot perform, even they offer they cannot offer their obligatory prayers. So how is it possible for them to recover if they are going through these kind of spiritual issues? If there is a child or a person is too little to recite the Quran, if you are if a person is unity and uh, he cannot understand the Holy Quran and he not, not he can recite Holy Quran. So in this case, the responsibility comes of the near ones. Hmm. For example, if your brother is ill and you ask me. Mr. Gulfam, you recite the Quran from your brother, so I can recite and it will be beneficial to some extent. It doesn't mean that the recitation of the Holy Quran by spiritual healer will do nothing. 
it can be beneficial to some extent, but the fully recovery, full recovery is dependent on the recitation of that person or the near ones. Mm -hmm. If your brother is in and you ask him, Mr. Gurfam, recite the Quran for your brother, I can recite and it will do something good to some extent, but it's the responsibility of you that you are near him, you recite the Quran and you blow on him. Mm -hmm. And if there is a child which who cannot recite the Quran, so there comes the responsibility of parents. Parents, mother or father should recite the Quran, blow on, the, on that particular child. Or if the person is liberty, which cannot, uh, who cannot recite Holy Quran, so here comes the responsibility of uh, dear relatives, brother, sister, mother, father, son, daughter, they should recite Holy Quran for that person, recite Holy Quran, blow into the water, and that water should be drunk by that patient. But as we have given an example of a brother, he should you know, recite his applications and uh, recite Holy Quran for his brother. But most of the people think that uh, we do not live our life according to the Sunnah of the Prophet. So our recitation will do nothing, will, will not heal the person who is suffering. So they ask a person who is closer to Allah, who they think who is, uh, who is closer to Allah and who has uh, a little bit made his life uh, you know, according to the Sunnah of the Prophet. So they, that's why they ask the spiritual leaders to recite for their uh, dear ones. Allah is not our property. Yeah. Everybody can get close to Allah Almighty. Allah is Allah of all humanity, of all Muslims, of all human beings. Anybody can get close to Allah Almighty. You just have to decide. You just have to... Nobody's perfect. We, we, we ask ourselves spiritual healers and we treat people with the recitation of Holy Quran. So it doesn't mean we are not sinful. We commit sins. We commit different mistakes. Some we disobey Allah Almighty sometimes. Which is the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Nobody is perfect mm -hmm. and everybody is sinful to some extent. So just don't underestimate these things. Just recite Holy Quran and pray, offer prayer to Allah Almighty and inshallah your, uh, your issue will be recovered. Thank you so very much. I guess this is the you know biggest hurdle in uh, you know chronic treatment. People don't want to recite Holy Quran. They don't want to make their life as per the teachings of Holy Prophet because it's a, it seems to be a difficult thing. But this is the ultimate solution to all of our spiritual problems. Thank you so very much.